start whenever you need to. Okay, here we go. What we did today was a fire hydrant flow test. Uh, we do these for multiple reasons. First reason is is for safety to just verify, confirm that uh, you know the system is doing what we expect it to do. It's all about safety and, and being able to do what we need to do to uh, give our residents assurances that we'll be able to take care of any incident that might come up. We need to have confidence uh, that. The, you know, when the fire department comes out and they hook up to a hydrant, that they're going to get uh, the flow that they expect to get, and that they'll, they'll be able to do their jobs. We need to give them the tool that they need to save lives and property. Sometimes we find our hydrants are, are overgrown uh, by vegetation. This gives us an opportunity to come out in a non-emergency situation and find those fire hydrants. Although we mark them in the street, sometimes we can't see them, and uh, this helps us come out and make sure the fire hydrants are working, make sure that we've uh, cleared any vegetation around it, and so when the firefighters do need an emergency situation, they're not hunting for that fire hydrant or that water supply. Residents would notice during the test would be a drop in pressure if they're using water. Sometimes we send out postcards to tell them, hey, we're doing this on a particular day, the water might be a little cloudy. And the reason for that is because we, when we flow, uh, the, we get high velocity in the pipes. And sometimes it churns up if there's any uh, sediment or uh, iron particles in the pipes. So it gets a little bit cloudy. And then uh, for that reason, after the test, we flush the lines uh, for maybe half an hour or an hour uh, until it clears up again for our fire or our engine companies if they should ever need an emergency to have the water available for them to help fight the fire and extinguish the fire. Another thing that, is, that it uh, has ramifications for is for insurance rates. The Washington Surveying and Ratings Bureau uh, conducts audits of our system and how frequently we do fire flow tests uh, and that impacts uh, insurance rates for homeowners throughout the city. When we conduct field hydrant tests, we record a variety of different uh, pieces of information. That includes the flow rate at the flow hydrant. It also includes the residual pressure at one or two other locations, be it a hydrant or a blow-off. And we also record information at uh, pump stations and reservoirs and our, our inlet stations, uh, the different telemetry that tells us what's going on at those facilities in terms of the pressure, the water level. And then when we get back to the office and we run our computer model, uh, we plug all those parameters in and see how the model responds. It helps us to have a, a clearer understanding of what's really going on in the system. It's all about safety and, and, and being able to do what we need to do to, to uh, give our residents assurances that we'll be able to take care of any incident that might come up.